Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this video. This is John from Programming Knowledge. And in this video guys, we're going to discuss and I'm going to teach you how to uh, implement functions in our C program. So basically guys, a C function is a self-contained block of statements that can be executed repeatedly whenever we need it. So um, if you think about it, it, it is just, you know, a group of statements that we could um, call and we can use repeatedly uh, within our C program. So in this particular video guys, we're going to discuss the benefits of using the functions in C program. We will also um, discuss the two types of functions in C. Um, also the parts of function, the function prototype, the function definition, and of course we're going to uh, discuss also how to call a function inside our C program and lastly we will implement a basic program to illustrate the addition of two numbers using user defined function so if you're excited guys please make sure to watch the full video uh, you will learn more in this particular uh, video tutorial and by the way guys if you are new here in our YouTube channel and you like content about programming so go ahead Make sure to subscribe and press the notification bell so you'll get updated whenever we have a new upload regarding different programmings or different topics. So we have topics Python, Java, JavaFX, C programming, and many, many other um, topics regarding programming. So now let's try to talk about the benefits of using function in C. So there are a lot of functions that you know we could uh, associate in uh, using function inside our C program. So the first one is modularity. So when we are using functions, it could provide modularity in our um, code. So it means that we could, you know, define different functions. We could uh, readily call our functions and um, we could call this particular function if we need it or we need to execute certain statements. And of course, guys, the function also provides you reusable code, meaning uh, it will save us um, a lot of space and, you know, it could be, our code could be, you know, read, uh, more readable um, by using this particular function feature. So that's readable or reusable code. And then... Um, in large programs, debugging and editing tasks is easy with the use of functions. So functions uh, make it easy for us to implement our programs. So the program can be modularized into smaller parts. That's what uh, I have said earlier that we could, you know, develop a certain module inside our C program and then we could call that particular module or statements or group of statements if we need in a particular situation and number um, the, the next one is the separate function independently can be developed according to the need so so for example guys we could group our statements depending on the need or you know depending on the the function or or the purpose of that statement so we could group that statements and uh, place it inside our C function so actually guys, there are two types of functions in C. So the first one is, um, let me type it here, type of functions. We have the first one, um, built-in function. Okay, so built-in function, um, of course the system provided these functions and stored in the library. Therefore, it is called um, library functions. So we have like we are using scanf, printf, uh, str, uh, strc, py, um, strlwr, strcmp, strlen, strcat, and many more functions that are already available for us whenever we try to run a program. So from the previous tutorials, we have used the printf. So as you can see, this particular function, we did not um, implement this. The system provided it for us, the printf, and this particular function will let us display um, certain 
um, objects or statements that we want is uh, we want to display inside our C program. So to use these functions, you just need to include the appropriate C header file. So that's why we have here the include statement at the top of our program. So basically, we're including all the necessary function that we could use inside our C program. And of course, guys, the, the, the second type of um, method is what we call the user defined functions. User defined functions. Okay? So user defined uh, user defined functions, these are the functions that are defined by the user at the time of writing the program. So that's basically us or the programmer um, that you know define the um, functions. Okay? And then of course the same with the uh, built-in function we could you know readily use this particular functions inside our C program now there are there are also parts of our function in C programming language we have the function declaration we also have the definition and we also have the function call so this is basically the the, the uh, actual flow of the function we have the function declaration declaration and then we have the definition we have of course the function call if you want to use that particular function so we have here for example syntax for function declaration so we could um, this will be the function declaration this is just an example guys on how you could declare a certain function so the syntax for that is data type and then function name and then of course uh, open and close parentheses and then in here you can specify the parameter list okay or the variables that we want to use inside this uh, particular function so our example of that is like this, int, which is the data type, and of course, addition, which is the uh, name of our function. So addition, and then the return type is int, and then of course, the list of parameters. And in this case, we don't have any parameter in this particular function addition. So we also have the function definition. This is actually what um, the... Uh, actual function would look like so this will be function declaration or I mean function definition okay so we could uh, this, the basic syntax to this is um, return type and then the function name and then function arguments and then curly braces so it should include the close or open and close curly braces and then inside here is the body of the function or simply the statements that we want to execute inside this particular function so whenever we want to call this function this will be the statements that would, that you know would be executed inside this particular function so in order for us to call a function inside our C program, we just need to specify the method name. And of course, we need to supply parameters if, there's a, uh, if there are any. And we would also need to specify the return type of our function. So now let's try to uh, implement a simple program that, you know, that could exp uh, illustrate the addition of two numbers um, using user defined function. So we have here the main function, right? And then in here, after the main or after the closing curly brace of our main function, we could create we could create our own function right here. Let me close this first so you can uh, you know see better. So we could add a function here. 
returning the total of two numbers. Okay? So we could declare it like this, int and then addition. Open and close par uh, parentheses. And then open and close curly braces. And of course, guys, as I've said, this, is, this will be the body of our function. So in here, we could um, define local variables. Okay, so local variables. So for example, we, ha we have int num1 equals 10. And then num2 equals 5. Okay, so these are local variables, meaning these are the variables that are declared and defined inside the addition method or function. Okay. So we can say here return and then num1 plus num2. Okay. So that's the statement that we want to execute when whenever we try to call the addition method or I mean function. So inside our main function we could call this um, method addition. So we could declare a variable here int answer and then we could say answer equals and then the addition so basically whatever the re the return value of this addition um, method it will be assigned into our answer variable and of course we could print or display this particular value so we could say the total of two numbers is and then the format specifier where just you know percent d and then the answer which is the answer variable okay so we could you know uh, build and run our application uh, application and then we have here the output the total of two numbers is 15 okay so that's how the function works and as you can see here we have defined our function with the statements inside our C function to return the total of the number one and number two. And then inside our main function, we have declared the answer. And then the type is int, of course, because the int is, uh, should correspond to the return type of this particular function. And then answer equals the addition and then the last thing that we did here is to display the total of two numbers and in this case 10 and uh, 5 which makes it you know the value or the output is 15. So I think that's all there is to it guys for this tutorial. Uh, tutorial. If you have you know questions regarding this please let me know in the comment section. And in the next video, guys, we're going to discuss how we could, you know, add arguments into our um, functions. So thank you for watching, guys, and see you in the next video.